The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Lighting for ECAT production provided by the Avery Lee Williams Family Foundation. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. We are rolling. November is, Thanksgiving is just two weeks away, and we're midway through November uh, this week. And I have an awesome guest tonight. We're going out to Hollywood. She's an actress. She's beautiful, as you can see. It's by Zoom, of course. But, of course, before you get to her, i got to read these incredible underwriters. have got a few, so we read them off and get some new ones. So we have A1 Auto Unlimited in Wayham. Uh, offer all your auto needs. Now we're offering rust coat car protection services. We have a new uh, Caribbean restaurant in West Bridgewater. That's Chazelle Resto and Lounge, uh, Caribbean cuisine. A1 is in Wayham, as I said. We have Sheer Irony uh, Hair Design in, right here in Easton. We have One Good Credit in Brockton. We have South Middleborough Pizza and Grill in Middleborough. We have Grip It and Rip It Trading Cards and Video Games in West Bridgewater. We have Bacant Armaments Corporation in Lakeville. We have X-Drive Motors Incorporated in West Bridgewater. We have Diesel Plus Unlimited in Whitman. We have JMD Services Company in Abington. We have Pals Driving School in Middleborough setting up classes for February and April of 2025. Better get on that website. We have Anthony Cycles in Middleborough. We have Brian's Barbershop in Kingston. We have Rafferty's Pub in Marshfield. We have the Antique Mall in Lakeville. They're in New one. We have Carver Jewelers, Ronald Diamond, Lyle Delano Goldsmiths in Carver on Route 58. We have Good Old Dave's Automotive in Hanson also on Route 58. We have New England Floorscapes in Middleborough. We have the Riverside Cafe in Wyham, open six days a week, all except Wednesday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. They make DoorDash deliveries, and they have the best breakfast from Boston to the Cape. We have Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton, one number for towing, one number for projects. My pal Lynchy there is always in search of new scrap metal, wheels, anything to do with transportation. He handles it all there. We have our Mulberry, our frozen yogurt in Raynham. We have Rock Solid Tops in Pembroke. We have Salon Giovanni in Marshfield. We have Kingston Auto Body in Kingston. We have Doggy Boutique, all beat professional grooming for dogs and cats, run by my great next door neighbor, Debbie Siddell in Brockton. We have Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We have Tom Otto in Middleborough. We have the Cornerstone Barbershop in Pembroke. We have RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton, covering floors for 50 years. We have Eli's Auto Care in Taunton. We have Evan Young Realty, my brother the realtor. We have the Auto Shop in Hanover with Master Mechanic Ed Rooney. We have Haven Psych Psychiatric Services right here in the building in room 211. We have DNS Auto Works and Collision Specialists in Abington on Route 58, and we have Joe's Diner in Taunton, and I want to thank you guys so very much. And now, Marianne Marseille, is that how you say it? It's Marcellus. Marcellus, okay, I would because it sounds it, it looks it looks French on in the in the in the syntax, and I, I get that. Started, but it's Marcellus. I get that all, all the time. Yes, yeah, yes, I'm sure you do. But I'm glad we cleared it up because. Uh, It'll look, no matter what I whatever, no matter what I post in the graphics, pronouncing it right is, is still top key to making it a good, you know, good interaction between host and guest, obviously. All right, so you're an actress. Are you from, where are you from? Are you from Hollywood? I mean, you, you're in Hollywood now, right? Or are you near the- yeah, um, so or Originally, I yes. am from the Westbury Scranton area of Pennsylvania. So if anyone is familiar with the show, The Office, um, that takes place um, in Scranton. So- okay. uh, uh, Northeast PA. That's where I was uh, born and raised. Oh, cool. Okay. When did you migrate to now? You 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 saw you saw uh, you had got a, you had a little uh, what do they call it? Bit by the acting bug. Were you at a young age? Is that it? Yes. And you look still look pretty young. And yes. You yes. Um, yeah. I was um, part of a children's theater group. Um, 
when I was a teenager and I'm um, like a local theater in the area, we did like a lot of uh, musicals and we did um, uh, some uh, theater there. And I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, the, the, the kids, they acted in it. Um, we had like a lot of say in like how we wanted the uh, productions to go. And, okay. you know, it was a great experience for ch children and young people to kind of learn a little bit about acting and theater and all that. And, um, and then I went off to college. I actually have a degree in um, elementary and special education. Where did um, you, you go to college? Where did you go? Um, I went to college um, at King's College. It's in Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes-Barre, Perry, ah, Wilkes Pennsylvania. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Where, mm -hmm. Tell me about yeah. you know, what you major in elementary education. Yes, I majored in elementary and special education. Um, I love kids. Um, yep. to to this day, I I, I still uh, love kids. Um, but then after college, I decided that I wanted to pursue, you know, my my dream and s something that I always enjoyed, which was um, acting and show business and all that. And so I originally moved to New York. Um, that's where I got um all of my uh great training. Um, oh. and I was in New York. For well, about eight years. Right, what kind, and, how, who did, how did, what kind of training did you get in New York? Broadway acting, stuff like that? So, yeah, so I did a variety of training. Um, my main training was um, a two-year conservatory in the Meisner Technique um, okay. at Maggie Flanagan Studio in okay. uh, Manhattan. Yep. And um, yeah, I also, I got some improv training there. I did some improv shows there. Um, I got uh, some commercial cool. training there, um, scene study. Yeah, I, I pretty much... Um, hit everything and then about two years ago um a little over uh two years ago i came out here to la and um you know i continued um getting work in like uh, uh commercials and um uh since coming out here i've been on like a couple web series and all that and um i've uh still continued with um improv training and and, and doing us uh, some uh improv shows um out here i was at um, a place called la connection which is in burbank uh for a while um so yeah i'm uh to to sum up um i started in new york got a lot of training um that's where I, I first got like, you know, uh, uh, some uh, work and some experience and all that. And I've just been continuing um, with uh, all of that out here in L.A. OK, uh, now, now you, we're going to we're going to look at a trailer of yours about halfway through the show. Um, tell me some of the films you've been in. Tell me what tell me, give, you know, give a little you know, synopsis without giving too much away. Just give me you know, an idea. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, um, so I've done a, some vertical uh, web series. That's like um, the the new like popular thing. And they're they're called verticals because people like, you know, they they watch them from your your phone oh, screen. Yeah, you know, of vertical. And um, yeah, I've done um, I, I've done a variety of characters um, on those. It's, um, you know, a great way to uh, uh, meet people, um, especially like, you know, some people who are up and coming um, who I always like to meet um, uh, up and coming people because you never know, um, you know, in, in the future where those uh, people will be, you know, exactly. the, the person who, who you meet today um, could be the next Spielberg. That's the way that I always look at it. Um, so I've done, um, yeah, I've uh, usually on those, um, they're like a lot of them, they're, they're based off of like Chinese or like Asian soap operas. And I tend to get cast as, um, like like snotty like the overbearing like, like you know uppity like I can see that character. You. I can see that yeah. you you have sort of you know I'm looking at you and I see kind of like uh you like you're like the you're you're, you're a kind of like a, a, a innocent looking friend fatale and we find out later that you you're actually you, you've done the worst most sinister things that people people can have, can imagine and then you know like you look like you could be like a like a murderess or something like that and. And it's in a, in a dark comedy, that kind of thing. You just have that yeah. look. Are you are you comedian? Yeah, you ever done stand up comedy? You said improv. I figured that might have something. It might be connected. Yes, I've done I've done improv. I personally have never done stand up myself. Um, I love st stand up. Um, okay. I've I know um a couple people who do it. Um, you are not the first person. However, um, to tell me that, oh my God, Marianne, you should try stand up. Um, I'm not saying you should try it. I'm saying you look like you you, you look like you have done it, but but maybe you should try it. <laughs> I sh yeah, uh, 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 apparently I, I should. You know, it's it's like a little different than improv, but there's like you know obviously some similarity there, right. like you know with like 
you know, comedy and being off the cuff. Um, yeah, co comedy is actually um, my favorite thing uh, to to do. Yep. And, um, you know, because I like comedy, um, like I've done um, a variety of commercials, like more, most recently I did a, a couple months ago, I filmed a commercial um, it's a, a, a like a football a t tailgating one, and okay. that is scheduled to air. Um, I, I think around the time when the the Super Bowl Super is. Super Bowl! Is, wow, you, I, I could be worse than box. Yes, yes. Wow. So I'm 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 looking forward um uh, to that, and um in addition to um my uh improv shows and commercials and all that um I have also made a couple of my own uh short films um okay. so that's right, hold on um, a second you made when you say uh, made a couple of your own short films that you from scripts you've written. Yes. Um, okay. So it's a combo of of scripts that I wrote and that um, I, you know, um, a, a, a produced myself. And then um, okay. I've also done a couple films. It was kind of a collaborative or a group effort with uh, some of my friends. Um, we did it uh, together and we uh, put it, uh, uh, you, you know, we we um, acted in it. We wrote it, uh, uh, you know, amongst ourselves. Okay. And um, we filmed it and we put it out there. So um, there's a one film that I did with a two, two of my friends, it's called Secrets in the City. So it's kind of um, a, a short film. It's based off of uh, like the show Sex in the City, except that it, it takes place in LA, except um, the, the original. Oh, okay, that's right. They're in New York and New you're York. in LA. You're like the, 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 L, you're the LA version of, I can't think of the Kim, the Kim Cattrall's character's name, but you're, you could definitely yeah. pull that <laughs> off. Is that is that yeah. right? is that what you are in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I. Yeah. I agree. I. I. I, I like th that um, assessment. Okay. <laughs> and <Thank> um, you. <laughs> yeah. And and um, another film uh, that I did. Um, I actually did, did this a couple years ago when I was uh, still in New York. It was um, a film. It was a parody film okay. because, like I said, I, I I love comedy and anything humorous like that. And it was based off of my actual experiences when I worked in retail. Okay. Um, so, you know, they, they say, a lot of people out there say like, you know, so some of the best art is based off of real life. Real so life. I kind yeah. of- I like imitating art, yeah. et cetera. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of took that advice and I made um, a very, uh, you know, what, what I think is a very fun um, a film, you know, where, where I, played a variety of character types as the the uh, uh customers so like there's you know the the karen customer there's you know the 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 customer who like you know has has no idea of what it is that they're they're doing and they're oh, like they're asking take for the help right son yeah okay mm -hmm. i can see that i can see you walking into a store and being a nuisance to the and at the same time <laughs> i can see you being a clerk and and being total and being hum humorously rude to people too. That would even be funnier or as funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed. Now look, I did a little a little off the subject, but I, I you did a little um, video of yourself scaling the Hollywood Hill barefoot, right? What was that about? Tell me a little about that. Oh yes. Um. So yeah, that would have been one of my um uh, Instagram videos, and um yeah, I was uh, in um I, just like a thin pair of sandals, and so that was filmed. It was um officially before I moved to LA. It was um with one of uh, my my friends, and um I I came here um look looking at apartments and places to live, and I was just walking around uh, the city, you know, trying to get used to it a little bit, and we decided um to hike up Runyon Canyon, which is where um you go to actually um get a a, a close-up look at the hollywood sign wow and it's known for being you know one of the steepest hikes um in in the city that 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 you can take um you know it's it's definitely not for the 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 faint of heart um like especially are the, are, the, are, the, are the people the people that are out of shape obviously right yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, like like if if you're gonna be climbing up Runyon Canyon and you want to get like as close to the sign as possible, you need to you know be prepared to be climbing up like a lot of like steep like cliffs and and hills and kind of like and the all hills that. near Boston. If you've ever been out here, I don't know if you've ever been to this area of New England, but I have never been to Boston. It's it's definitely on my bucket list. Oh, uh, if you to, ever do, let's meet up. Well, in the meet, all right. At this point, we're halfway through the show. And we're going to watch a Mir Marianne's trailer, and we'll come right back to discuss it. So stay tuned. And we'll be right back. You're a growing woman. You need some 
blackberry and fudge. You need honey latte wafer cone. What does a blackberry fudge man even look like? Not this. Hey, he is not vanilla. He's a musician. With the haircut of a dentist, he probably doesn't even play the guitar. He's just posing. They all seem nice. I want nice. Aaron, honey, nice is for settling down. Your last relationship was five minutes ago. You need, let's get all hot and dangerous and ooh, let's go to Tijuana. Deep down, you're a strong woman, but you're acting like such a scared little mouse. You need to take a risk and stop being such a little bitch. If I was a man asking you for a promotion, would you be saying, that's just your masculinity talking? I didn't think so. This has nothing to do with sexism. Peter Bartlett accepted the position. Peter Bart... Oh my God, Ed, he comes back from the bar every day after lunch and falls asleep at his desk. He never asks for anything. He never complains. He doesn't have enough. Not to you, he doesn't. Okay, I guess we're done here. On second thought, there's something else. When I submit your expense reports to accounting, Deja Vu is not actually a corporate supply store. It's a massage parlor. Now wait a minute. And think about it. Anson's a plumber, a handyman of sorts, and where do those guys typically shop for work? Hardware stores. Right. Very good, Harney. Hardware stores like Home Depot. Do you see where I'm going with this now? You need to reopen that case and get me that file. I can't do that without jumping through a bunch of legal hoops. So jump, because I know that there's a connection between that cold case and Jenny's murder, and I just need to find it before the killer strikes again. Well, when you put it like that. Like what? With that velvety voice you know that I love. But just to remind you, Lenora, I'm the precinct. You're the lab. And the lab says it's Anson. So tell the precinct to get me that file or the lab will continue doing its own detective work. Well, Marianne, that was lovely. Tell me what we just watched. Give us, give us a little in a nutshell synopsis, if you would, please, of the trailer. Yeah, so um, what we uh, just watched, it's um, some of the more uh, recent things that uh, I did. Um, these are little, um, uh, independent films and um uh in the the first scene it's um one of uh the character types that i play like as um the the caring yet blunt and and very very to the 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 point uh best friend um and in the the other scene it's um the a uh, backstabbing ladder climbing up and coming young assistant who you know um spoke back uh, to her her boss when she was experiencing you know a, a moment of uh like maybe a, a little bit of misogyny there okay. and um you know I, I i whipped out you know some of some some of the 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 back stabbing uh you know a be behavior there and um the third scene it's um uh what is a uh, commonly called a procedural which for, for those who, who don't know um you know anything like a law and order like ncis any type of police show where they go through the procedure of solving a crime those are called uh, procedurals okay and um you know every actor should have you know, a scene a lot like that in their arsenal. So in that scene, I play the young uh, uh, forensic tech who is in the midst of solving a murder and she is running um, the facts by um, her young, handsome uh, uh, cop. Uh, He's more distracted uh, by you than he is that he cares about solving the crime, right? Right, yeah, yeah I exactly. I, I, I would be too, I'll be honest with you. You're a pretty girl, okay. Uh, and on that, I'm just curious, have you ever modeled at all? Um, I've done some print modeling. Okay. Yes, um, that's the, like a modeling of like, 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 you know, like a, s some uh, clothes or, or like modeling, yeah, yeah. Um, like, like a, an object or, or, or something. So, yeah. so, so yes, um, th there's um, a market for that in New York and, and in LA. That's something that, you know, a good number of actors also do. So cool. Do you have a family? Are you married with kids? I know you have a puppy, but 
Just yeah, I have. I currently have um, a puppy. I don't have um, any kids yet. Um, but so my my puppy, he is my fur is child. Oh, I get it. I love animals. Yeah. I've had two cats, and I know all about why how your yep. pets are your, are your family, and they always will be, and there'll always be a special place in your heart for them. Mm -hmm. I get it. That's great. Yes. Is he, is he there with you now? You're at your house, right? And there's there he is on the cup on the mug. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I uh, got. You got him right there. But you don't actually have him in person, or did you? Is he sleeping? Um, he is on my bed. Um, he's sleeping. Yes, he, yeah. But he might want he's to come. Sleeping. He might come. You never know. He might walk in and want to be in the show any minute, right? He might. Yeah, that's cool. He might. Yeah. If he doesn't, mm -hmm. that's cool, and you're not disturbing him. Have you ever done anything in music? You, you sound like you might be able to good. Like you might be a good singer too. I'm just wondering. I have, I want to find out how multifaceted you are. Yes. Um. I actually used to uh, do a lot of singing when I was a little younger. Um. I took uh, voice lessons. Okay. Um. So yes, I am a, a trained uh, singer. Um. Uh. One of the the first acting things that I actually did, and like what what got me interested in acting was um musical theater. Okay. And so that's what inspired me, um, you know, to start uh, singing and all that. And yeah, while I was, um, uh, I started off uh, voice lessons in my hometown in Wilkes-Barre. And so I, I did a little bit, bit of performing there. And then um, I continued on with um, uh, singing and, um, and, and uh, uh, performing uh, when I was in New York. Okay. Um, I, I, I performed at, you know, like uh, I did um, a couple uh, like concerts um, with, with like other uh, members of the, the, the studios that I was at. Um, in New York, I performed um, on the Upper West Side at this um, popular uh, bar and, and, and restaurant okay. uh, there. Um, so yeah, I've, I, I, I've done, um, you know, uh, a little bit of singing and um, that's something that uh, I, you know, always make sure to put on my resume as one of my special skills. That's, so. that's great. Yeah. Have you ever played a musical instrument, guitar, piano, drums, anything like that? Yep. When I was a kid, I uh, played piano. Cool. Me too. I took seven. I took lessons for seven years. But this is my true calling, awesome. obviously. But I wasn't bad. Everyone told me I was talented. All right. Well, what's so now? You know, we're coming up to the end of the year. How busy are you with your acting currently? I mean, as far as making new, new projects, what's going on with you? With, you know, as we head into the end of this year and on to the next one, what's going on with you? Regular, you know, with work. Yes, yeah, so um, uh, I have a, a commercial that I just got uh, booked on. Um, I have um, a small uh, featured role in that, so that's going to be filming um, sometime next week, um, okay. probably. And um, then I, what what I am planning on doing, I actually have. Um, I talked earlier about um, some short films. I have um, a script for another short film. It's actually um, a, a little longer. Um, it's maybe about uh, 12 pages. Okay. Um, so that I am currently in the works of uh, tweaking that and I am going to be getting uh, people uh, to, to, together um, to be filming that. Um, so that is one of my main goals and main project plans for 2025. 25. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, all right. So this is a script you wrote just like the other ones, right? That you were talking yes. about? Okay. Now, who yes. is it? Do you, do you, who, who, what production country, do you have your own production company too, or are you affiliated with anyone else's? Uh, I'm not affiliated with anyone else's. Um, I am currently in the process of starting uh, my my own, um, oh. especially um, like but before this th this uh, film that yeah. I'm I'm in, in, in the process of making. Um, before I you know uh, get that out there and like you know get ev everyone uh, to together for that. I'm um, starting like an LCC is something oh. that I'm gonna do so. All right. So this is how do you round up actors for your films? You have, I mean, you must be, you, you probably have a big, uh, you know, probably big, big uh, conglomeration of friends out in Hollywood that you, you reach out to or new people, maybe on social media. Is that how you do it? Do you have, do you have open rehearsals for stuff sometimes and like that? Uh, sometimes, yeah, I, I work. Um, my, my my friends and and, and I, um, we uh, you know uh, we work together and we uh, collaborate on um, some things. And we actually met um, originally in one of our acting groups uh, that we're all in. Um, and the acting group was um, putting on a short film uh, contest, and okay. so that's how we originally uh, got uh, to together um but and then other than that um you know I, I i work with them a lot of people 
who I know or like who I'm on uh, Instagram or social media with. Um, uh, when I, uh, for this uh, film that I'm going to be doing, um, I have to decide I may put out um, a casting call um, cool. for for that uh, to to try to find the the right people. So. Okay, that's awesome. That's 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 swell. So, and uh, do you have a special place where they where you meet up for casting calls? Your house or uh, anywhere, you know, something like that, or any or any studio? You have do you have access to a studio? Um, I mean, I have access to you know a lot of rooms and a lot of studio space. There are a ton of studios uh, oh, around right. here. In, in LA, um, yep. but yeah, I I, I utilize. Um, I, I live in um, a, a tiny little studio uh, my myself, but but um, you know, I I, I have access to like a, a couple of my my friends. I have access to uh, their uh, places, and you know, certainly, like I said, that there are like you know a lot of uh, studio uh, spaces uh, of uh, around here. Cool, so. that's awesome. Well, guess what? On that note, we're under five minutes to go. I hope you had fun talking to me today. I did. Yes, oh. yes. Okay. So, what, so Marianne, what I want you to do is in the remaining time, give a few shouts out to people that are going to see the show because I, I know we're going to get a lot of views for it. Just condense them and then we'll wrap the show up with my music the way we began it. So go ahead. Well, I want to give a shout out to my mom and my dad and and my my family. Um, you know, they were some of my first fans. They are still supporting me to this day. I want to give a shout out um, to some of uh, my friends, um, Sandra, Diana, Shannon, Will, um, uh, Gabe, uh, in, any of my, b both my actor friends and um, my my non uh, uh, uh actor friends um but you know my my family and my friends they are the most important people in my my life um uh, they've gotten me through a lot of hardships and um yeah i would love uh, for everyone to tune in and watch the show oh, oh the more, we, 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 once the show is up online my motto is we never spare the share i might even make i might even make right. you a little neurotic if i because i i sometimes i tend to over i don't want to say overshare but what happens is I try to share show every day till I get it to at least 100 views, and then and then I kind of let it roll for a bit and see what happens. And then I hope the guest does the same thing because that's it's it's you know create it's that it's that combined effect, the combined effort of the of me and the people I interview, you know, and and the and the beautiful uh, creation of social media and YouTube together that make it you know a, a hit, and that's the way we want it. Yes. So yeah. all right, if you had a good time with me and you know anybody that's in acting or anything that my, anyone that just with an interesting story to tell, uh, I'd love to get them on my show, either in person or by Zoom. If you, you have my digits, feel free to give them to anybody and any and everybody, basically. Okay, As sure. long as you don't do terrible things, I'll be happy to interview them because that's what I do. I'm always getting a lot of uh, interviews from word of mouth. Now, I know you were talking about that film you were co that's coming up. Is there anything at all, in addition to that, that you want to mention before we, before we wrap it up? Because I want to make sure we've covered everything. If not, that's fine, but I just want to double check. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it for right now. Um. Like I said, that that film. That's um. Uh, my my yep. up uh coming plan for for twenty twenty five. And obviously more stuff uh will uh, come up. And I'll be sure to let everybody know when it does. Okay. Great. All right. So I have one last favor to ask you. We're about, when we wrap the show up, will you stick around? And my tech guy will take a pic for Facebook, and I'll tag you in it. And you can tag me as well. Okay. If you, and that's what I which I would appreciate. All right, folks, we're wrapping up another great Topic Time episode. Uh, beautiful, you know, in interview here as usual. So uh, well, got to set it up, and we'll roll up and sign out. Let's uh, CD. There we go.
Lighting for ECAP production provided by the Avery Lee Williams Family Foundation. Thank you.